Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome to Act to My Let's Play. This is episode three, and I have some big plans for today. I was getting some stuff prepared. I've been doing some mining. I'm cooking up some uh, a bunch of ores and everything. Um, yeah, that's all good. And I I have an idea, something I'm working on. I already built some of the stuff, so I'm getting prepared before I before I do some stuff. But before I get started, let's go into more important things. And that is, you know, chocolate milk. You gotta, gotta hurry up with that chocolate milk and drink as much as possible. And I've heard that chocolate milk actually, like in in game chocolate milk, not real chocolate milk, but it'll give you uh, some some boosts. And I don't know what those are just yet. Um, so I know how to make it. All you need is a, a empty bucket, like that, a uh, milk bucket, and some cocoa, which that's why on that, and I'm going to show you around. I've done more work than you, than I probably should have in between, but, um, yeah, so I have a cocoa farm and everything, but we'll see how this actually works. So I got some cocoa in my inventory. This is a shapeless recipe. Get some, a chocolate milk bu bucket, and, uh, oh. <laughs> I can't drink it. It doesn't work like milk. Hmm. I'll be right back. See see how I do, how I can drink this. Maybe I have to put it in a can or something. Nope. You what you have to do is you have to get some of these plastic sheets and you get that by putting these raw plastic together and smelting up some rubber from IC2. Pretty simple stuff. You get that? It's kind of weird, but uh, you have to set this down inside this hole. Let's put it right here. Make it all rocky and oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Regen, haste. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, that's pretty cool. I love chocolate milk even more. I didn't think that was possible. But yes, okay, so I'll let me uh, sprint as fast as I can over this area. Oh, wow. So, I have a tree growing right here. And so, uh, okay, this, this speed is a little bit annoying for tight corners like this. But, or where I just want to go to a little speed. But uh, here I have some wood and some saplings and everything. I've tested this. Um, we have a harvester here. Uh, I got some of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this down right, right here, and I'm going to place the. Uh, actually, probably should put it one back, but uh, that's okay. Um, actually, yeah, that's. Oh, I need dirt. There's always that one little thing that you do not have uh, prepared. You know what? I am going to actually put it there and move this now. I don't know. I'll move it eventually. How about that? But for for the recording's sake, I'm just going to put it right here. Um, there's a little hole in the back here. You can kind of see it. Um, and basically, that just ejects into one of these, or a chest, or in an inventory, or on the ground, or something. Um, so I am going to power this up with uh, pipes. I built some Stirling engines, so this can be uh, kind of self-producing and everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these Stirling engines right here. Uh, ooh, I need to put some of these. There we go. And then Stirling engines. And I built a wrench. And I think it's in here. Now, of course... I thought the speed is a longer duration for the the chocolate milk. I thought it had like four minutes or something. Weird. But okay. Um, so let me go find my wrench. Let's try to get all prepared for you guys and everything. It just doesn't work out like, a, like you always want it to. There we go. Hopefully I'm not forgetting anything else. So... Another thing I've done is I've grew some of these trees have grown. I'm not sure if I planted those in the last episode or not, uh, but I also found one adventuring, um, found a whole bunch of stuff, and a lot of them were a lot of uh, these bushes right here. So there's three types. There's a blackberry bush right there. Um, yeah. So uh, place this last one down, and then we get some of these things and some levers. 
Yeah. So uh, then we've got to get some some fuel source. So uh, what I'm going to use the wood that we get right here on its own. So I'm going to be converting the wood that we get into wood planks and then sending uh, the wood planks into here. And you can hear it already working. Yeah. Cool. That's awesome. So uh, let me just plant these around here. Um, and I think these have upgrades for range. Yeah, right here. You can place place little upgrades, and there's they, it has a little byproduct of sludge. I don't know exactly what that does. I'm pretty new to this mod, um, but one thing I need to do is make a planter. So uh, I meant to do that earlier, but I, but uh, silly me, I forgot. Getting forgetful, my old age. So, um, but I'm sure we can do it on camera. It's probably not that hard to do. I have a bunch of resources ready and available. You can see I got some clay. I'm thinking about getting it into Tinker's Construct pretty soon. Um, so, let's... I'm probably going to need that. Let's look up planter. Oh, I was in my test world. That's why I'm in, in this cheat mode. There we go. Recipe. There we go. Um, planter. Right here. So, we need two pistons. Okay. Let's grab some iron. Um, I have some wood, right? Yes. And some cobble. Uh, that's not enough. As you can see, I've been kind of putting everything into uh, the condensed um, stuff. So let me just dig out right here and get enough cobble. And uh, then we'll get going a little bit. I, I wish I would have had like a little bit extra, you know, standard cobble, but that's okay. Uh, let's see if that's enough. Let's go uh, right here. I'll need some redstone. Um, also been diligent in putting that into into uh, blocks. Uh, cobblestone. Yeah, it's got everything. I don't know why it's not. Oh, maybe I didn't do it right. There we go. No? Okay. Okay, that should work, I guess. So just do this manually. Just like that. Get two pistons. Um, and then we, uh, what do we need? Now we need one of these, which is gold. I should have some of that in this chest right here. Yes, I do. And then let's go right here and make a, there we go. Make one of these things. And this is a uh, redstone reception coil. Uh, and I think we just need some copper. And, oh, no, no. We need, <laughs> we actually need a flower pot. I've never made one of these. Okay, bricks. All right. Luckily, I know where some clay is. Oh, is this thing empty? No, it's not. So, um, yeah, I pro I really need to work on a better power source, but, you know, early game, that's, it's a little bit hard to do. Um, let me just throw some, some of this in there. And that should hold us over for, for a while. I mean, we've got some backlog, like a lot of backlog. And I made some backpacks, that's why we have so much backlog, is, you know, I filled all those up. Um, so we need one of these. Uh, I need glass. Wow! One thing after another. And I really need to switch out that, um, that crafting table, because it's just not going to work. Oh. Wow. Alright, let me just grab all this gold. All right, and I think after copper and this, um, this, once these two things get done, um, we should be golden. So um, grab these two copper, and then wait for the bricks. Or do I, I haven't even put them in there? Ah, yeah, there we go. So um, while that's going, I'll show you some of the other stuff. We I went around, I found some extra wood stuff. I found an Armantha. Um, they give like darker wood. You can kind of, you can kind of tell by the the sapling. Um, this gives a uh, blue dye. Um, some eucalyptus stuff. Um, some more orberry bushes. A hop seed sapling. That's I think you need to plant those in a four by or a two by two pattern. 
Um, more barley. Yeah, I didn't been doing farming. Uh, a bunch of clay. Yeah. And I have been getting really lucky with zombie heads. I'm thinking that some mod actually made it a little bit more common. Because, I mean, I was using a typical stone sword. I think the one I right before this, and I got two like two zombie heads right in a row. It was really weird. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Throw you in there. And, you know, I'm just going to throw this in there and let's get rolling on this episode a little bit. Um, so, we just need a flower pot. And we should be ready to instantly craft this. Yes, sweet. So, um, this works. If I... No, I, I'm kind of learning this with you guys. But, um, this probably works very similarly to, um to the harvester and I'm assuming it runs off of Minecraft jewels and you know yeah I mean that's pretty you know pretty obvious I would say um, but we'll see let's head over here to the planting ring got rid of this pesky spider oh. one thing I can't wait to craft is that um, mag uh, magnum thingamabob, the magnum, um, what is it, it's the magnum torch, there we go, um, and it's, basically keeps mobs from spawning, and it's really cool, There we go. Just like that, and it'll need a little bit of power. And let me just run that underneath it. So, uh, I'm going to need more cable and everything, and I'm going to um, stop the recording and get some more things together and, you know, cook up this potato right here and get something to eat because I'm a little bit hungry here. And uh, I'll be right back. See ya. Okay, I'm back, and I just hooked it up. So, uh, if I, um, you can see that I've hooked it up right here. So, right here, um, oops, uh, so, you know, will this actually harvest wood that you place? Kind of curious. Oh, it's... Oh! Ha! Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's amazing. So... I just figured out a way that you can actually increase the um, the range of this without actually putting in a range upgrade. Ooh, I like, I like. So um, I, I don't think I can do that with this one. I'm going to need an up, uh, upgrade. So if I come over here and I look up upgrade, and you'll find these things right here. So um, I don't, an upgrade of nine. Uh, oh, I don't want a radius. All right, let's go. To, Wow! <laughs> Fire trucks in the background. Um, let's go radius of four. Cool. So uh, we got we got some copper. Yeah, yeah. This would be pretty easy. Let me uh, just find where do I still have that. I no I found out something. Uh, it's kind of cheaty. It's a little cheaty, but uh, you know, I was running out of space, so I was walking around like this. Had it equipped at this weird spot. I don't know what it actually does. I don't think it's actually used yet, but uh, it's part of Tinker's construct, I do believe. Pretty sure, actually. And I used the uh, farm over there, the berry farm, to fill up my hunger. I didn't actually cook these yet. I kind of want to save these to kind of increase some farm production, so I'm going to just put those in there. Um, no, that's not right. Um, where is it? It's There it is. So all I'm, all I need to do right now is I need to grab some uh, some resin from these trees, and then I just need to smelt that up twice each, and then yeah, then we should be good. So uh, let me just grab all this stuff, and um, yeah, you know, I think that might be enough actually. Let's kind of do a small peek, see if there's anything that I need. Nope. 
And I'm I'm kind of wondering if there's I know Red Power Two's gone, so the sickles that I usually use to get rid of those leaves are not in this mod pack anymore, and that saddens me. But um, yeah, I need to um, figure out something to actually you know get leaves and and other vegetation you know cleared away easier. Is this done yet? Wow. Take, this is taking a lot of wood, actually. I'm sur I'm very surprised. There we go. Um, I know what I'm doing. So uh, let me just come over here. Do put the throw that in there. Throw some of this in there. Um, let's see here. There's an, there's some other things I need to do. I could have set this up earlier, but. I just need a. Uh, I just wanted to kind of make sure I involved you guys in this let's play and not just did everything on my own. So I, I left this out. Um, here's the carpenter that I built. All it is is a bunch of bronze and stratification, which is more bronze, and put some uh, glass around it. And the, it's a little bit more difficult with the squeezer right here. Um, if I go, oops, if I go right here, then you see tin, then stratification, which is bronze, and put glass around that. Yeah, so. Nothing too advanced, but um, I didn't want to do too much without you guys. And so there we go. Now we have that. Now we're. I really need to get some some seed oil. So uh, I really need to find out a way to do farms. I'm thinking turtles. I'm thinking it, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I might use that harvester or something. Um, I don't. I don't really want to. Uh, I want to do it in the most, you know, resource-friendly way possible, but I don't exactly know what the best way of doing it is. So I'm looking for the one of that increases by four, which is copper. I'll need a gold nugget. That's simple stuff. Uh, all we need is grab uh, this. Bam. Perfect. Um, there we go. Um, now we just need a few pieces of copper. There we go. Uh, and I know there's something else. I have a terrible memory today, I guess. Um, redstone. Yeah. I have. I do have that, right? It's in here. And then we just do a little shift click thing. Bam. Awesome. So now we got a planter that will uh, be able to plant um, um, a large area. I do believe that when it says radius, it means radius, not diameter. So I'm just going to trust that, and I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> they mean what they say. So, uh, yeah, let's just head over here and plant this up. Or put this in here, I mean. And I'm not sure why this isn't working. Does it not plant trees? Let me let me research this a little bit and I'll be right back. Okay, so I did a little bit of changing since you last saw it. I had had the right right item. I had the planter in there, which was good, but I needed to put it down one uh, and then like, cover it with like, dirt and everything. And so that seems to be working just fine. Just peachy. So, um, yeah, it's a little bit big, though. That's I'm thinking I need to actually bump down, or, uh, push down that thing because I mean right here I have an auto workbench right here and it's filling up only this one it's doing quite a good job at it and this one I filled up manually with jungle wood but look how slow this is like see how it has to actually like take time to craft well that might just be the limiting factor with this farm is this right here so um, I think I might change this to a crafty turtle but I'm not sure yet uh, you know, I love turtles and everything, but uh, it's a little bit manual, uh, and this is really automatic. This is just place it down, and it will go. So, um, yeah, but it's working out great. Like, the only thing I need to do now is have something automatically place a block there. And then I think it'd be completely automatic, and you can see, uh, this is, it hasn't been going on for very long. But you can see I already have a, over a stack of wood here, plus that one. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, that will, it'll take a while, um, it'll take a while, 
uh, to fill that chest up and everything, but, I mean, it won't take, like, forever. Um, so I'm thinking that the best use of all this wood is with my minium stone, which is, you know, you can get obsidian and then iron and then you can get, like, everything, so, uh, but yeah, look how fast it's going, too. Like, that's, that's surprising me. Like, I am thinking that this is better than the Steve's Carts tree farm than, uh, that I had before. I'm, I'm really liking this. And then automatically gets replanted. Sometimes it drops these uh, saplings, but that's okay. See, there's nothing here now. Is there saplings in here? Yes. Uh, let me put that in here. Yep, there it goes. Aha. See, now that... Now it's all filled up, and this is automated. There we go. So, um, yeah, probably should hurry up and get done. Yeah, it should work. Um, what I'm wondering is, will this log get done before this one fills up? Because if it doesn't, then that one, that next one, will have to go into here. No big deal, Matt. But uh, I think after that, all I have to do is kind of watch this one until this one starts filling up. Then, um, yeah, man, I'm I'm actually pretty happy with this. I am. I'm not gonna lie. So, um, yeah, now to think about what I'm gonna use to to uh, plant down that one log whenever there's not one there. And you know my choice. You know my choice is definitely gonna be turtles. <laughs> I love my turtles. So, uh, I'm thinking of a name, and I'm probably not going to do something really extravagant, because all it's going to be doing there is sitting there and, you know, doing nothing. I don't even need the diamonds. All I need is one piece of redstone, um, some smooth stone, which, you know, I don't, I don't think I have. I think we're going to actually have to hit, go into this, but you can actually get the stuff back from this, so it's easy to use. Just like that. Perfect. So, um, now, all, we ha all I have to do is, uh, oh, these ceilings. Alright, I'll just go up here to my, uh, typical vanilla furnace, and I will throw in those, and, uh, where's... <laughs> I need some wood. <laughs> I don't really like using coal for furnaces. I don't know why. I don't know. It just seems very, I don't know, non-automated because you have to, like, uh, charcoal, yeah, I'll do charcoal, but uh, actual coal, there's other uses for it, so I, I try to avoid using it. I'll just grab the coal stack. But, yeah, if you use your coal too much, then you're not going to have enough for the um, nano armor, and you're not going to have enough for the nano sword if you want to create it. And, you know, I don't think I'm actually going to do the nano sword just because Tinker's Construct has some really good stuff in it. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, perfect. Throw those in there, and I think that should do. I think that'll get us through it. Everything. Urgh. So, um, let's see here, let me throw the, let me just throw a full stack of oak wood in here. Oh, and look at that, all my potatoes are grown. Awesome. One, one tip, if you do not have a forged lexicon or anything, what you could do is you can macerate the ingots if you find some in like a dungeon like I have. You can macerate them or pulverize them for whatever type you want. Uh, pulverize will get you, you know, the standard uh, this type of copper or whatever or tin, and um, you pulverize it. Then it'll give you the pulverized stuff. Then you go over here and um, it'll cook it up and bring you back to the normal ingot. So pro tip. Um, I'm not even sure if I should even keep this poisonous potato. I do not know of any use for it. So I'll, I'll keep it. I'll keep it for now. So I think we're ready to make a uh, computer and then a turtle. So all we need to do is I uh, grab some iron. Seven pieces should do. Six, seven. Uh, and then let's come over here and make a chest. Perfect. 
And then I'm also going to make a crafting table. Just, actually, you know, I'm going to make two and uh, replace the other one. Uh, so we have over here, we have, uh, we need to make this. No, we don't. We need this, and then this, and then these all around. Perfect. Got a computer, and then we just need to surround it with iron. And then... Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. So, um, I want to make this crafty turtle. And then we can head over there and start doing some coding. So, uh... I think I should be good enough with, uh, just... Oh, wow. Um, oh yeah, I, I never slipped in the first place. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it, you know, a simple program. It's not going to be too extravagant. Um, all it's going to do is it's going to check to see if there's a block in front of it. If there's not, it'll place. If it, and if there is, then it'll, like, it'll sleep for, I don't know, four seconds or whatever, um, however long I want it to. And then I will, uh, get out of here. It's hoping for carrot, but I think I have to kill it for the carrot. Um, yeah, so let me just put this down here. That's so cramped. Oh, another thing you can do that um, not everybody knows. Look on the ground, push C, and you'll get a little crafting table here, which is awesome. It's a little bit buggy. You can see I pushed right here, put a uh, stick right there. You can't even see it. Put a stick right there. You can't see it. Um, and it shows up on that side. That's what, it, and you can see the thing above it. So uh, then you push C again, and you'll show up with a little shovel or whatever thing you crafted in there. So that's that's really nifty. Um, uh, perfect. Um, let's go over here, here, and this will not need fuel because you know it's just going to be sitting in one place. Turn right. And then let me write a, write a quick program, and I'll be right back. Okay, I think this should work. This is like five second programming for me. I mean, I'm not even sure why I uh, stopped uh, the recording. Probably just in case I had a brain fart. <laughs> so um, simple program. It's like four or yeah, six lines of code. Basically, a while loop, a while true do is basically this is infinite. This will always do the same thing over and over and over and over and over again until, you know, a chunk is unloaded or whatever, and a turtle basically doesn't exist, um, or broken, you know, it's that, basically that. Um, so, what it does is, if it will, if it detects, uh, a, a block in front of it, or if there, then it won't, then this, if it detects a block in front of it, then it will not activate this thing. If it doesn't, um, then it will, but if it doesn't, if it uh, doesn't detect in front of it like uh, the if statement does, then it will sleep for four seconds and it'll try again. And if it, and if it uh, doesn't detect anything, then it will play something and then sleep for four seconds and it'll try it again and again and again. I hope I explained that well. Uh, let's save it again and then um, exit. Hopefully this will work. Let's label this computer. Nah. Um. Harvester. Sure, that'll work. Oops, label set harvester. There we go, perfect. So uh, let's just restart it, hold control and R, and it will do this. going nuts. That's awesome. So, um, yeah, this one's pretty much empty, too, so I'm pretty sure that this will be producing more. So I think, I think we're safe. I think this will, uh, be just fine for us. Let me just come over here and grab some food. Uh, have one of these. I think that, uh, this one should, this little, uh, mallowberry? Yeah, mallowberry should hold me over. Um, because I have a lot of these plants. And look how much, how fast that is to eat that, just munching away on them. Yeah. They don't do much, though. They only do, uh, half a hunger bar, but... Oops. 
Hmm. I have an idea. What's going on? All right, it's, it's doing all outside. I see. Um, I'm thinking, what if I add another harvester in there? That's my my uh, my thought. I'm thinking that it will probably go twice as fast. We'll see. I'm gonna try it. Find this up and uh, let me go build one, and I'll be right right back. Yeah. So do you notice difference? I don't. I think I know the reason why. I think the reason why is that there is uh, you know, only so much energy that can go right here. And uh, this keeps getting up, but you know what? I think, you know what? Maybe not. <sighs> oh, wow. All right, so it does. So I'm going to figure out something to do with that, and I'll be right back. Uh, sorry for the choppy episode. Ooh, actually, I just checked the time, and we are at that point that the episode's getting long, so I probably should wrap up. So uh, next episode, we're going to work on this a little bit more. Actually, maybe in between, I'm going to figure out something a little bit better. So uh, yeah, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. See you next time. Bye.